Hello boys and girls, this is Mrs. Ott and today we have a really fun project. We are going to be making marble paper. There's many different techniques to make marble paper and we're going to make it with a really cool way to do it is actually with shaving cream. So I'm hoping that uh, maybe you can ask your dad if you can have a little bit of shaving cream for this project. It's a little bit messy so you might want to wear an apron or shirt that you don't care about and have some space with maybe a table covered. So I'm going to just show you first um, a few of the materials that we're going to use today that you need for the project. Um, we're going to use, this is kind of a placemat, so if you don't have one like this, maybe a placemat, something plasticky that you can use once the paper is done. We're going to be using, of course, shaving cream. So the important thing about the shaving cream that you use is that it's a foamy one. Makes lots of foam, not a gel one. And then we're going to be using um, liquid watercolors and basically they're really strong colors. If you don't have liquid watercolors, you can also use food coloring. So this one you might have some um, in your kitchen, you can ask your mom. Uh, these are used for cookies and they're basically they, they give you a really good result. So we can do that too. And let's see, we're going to be using paper. So the paper has to be a little bit smaller than the pan that you use. And this is just a drawing paper, like thick drawing paper. And I'm going to be using for the project a large pan. This is kind of like a dish pan. And it's an aluminum pan, but you could use whatever you have as long as the paper fits inside. So before you, you start your project, you want to make sure your paper fits inside the pen. And then the last thing we're going to use is a plastic card. So a plastic card, I'm going to use my old access card. And this will be to take off the foam, I mean the, the shaving cream at the end of the project. And also actually a spatula to make the foam kind of nice and smooth. So those are all the things that we will be using. And actually, one more thing is like imagine a something like really thin, like a coffee stirrer, or you can use a skewer, or um, like a ballerina, the tip, the wooden tip of the ballerina brush. So this will be to move the patterns around. So this is all the things we're going to be using today, and the paper. What we will get, the results, will be basically a beautiful abstract painting that you can use as is, you know, to display as is. You can also use it for wrapping paper, but we will use it next week in a project and that will be the background. And in this week's lesson, I'm teaching you how to make marble paper, painted paper, and printed paper. So we will be using for sure, the marble paper that we make today, and painted paper, and perhaps the printed paper. So try, if you have time, to make all those papers so that next week we have lots of choices to make our collage. So let's get started. So I am now ready to start my marble paper. and. I have my sheet of paper on my placemat. So this is a plastic placemat. And I have my large tub um, so that this is where I'm gonna put in my um, shaving cream. And here is my shaving cream. So I'm gonna fill this up about, about an inch, inch and a half. And so that I can start. So I'm gonna show you this first step. So now that we have our shaving cream all smoothed out at the bottom of our pan, we're ready to add watercolors. Or, again, if you don't have watercolors, you can use food dye, food colors. So I'm going to start, I'm going to use three colors. I know that I want this to be kind of a, uh, it's going to be a background for a sky. 
that we're going to be doing next next week. So I'm going to just put a little bit here. See how I just sprinkle here and there, just a little bit. Then I'm going to get a little bit of violet. And then again, you choose your colors, but don't go too crazy. Otherwise, you might get brown at the end. And then I just want a pop of orange. I'm thinking maybe there's a little bit of sunshine in there. Again, I don't know what I'm going to get. It's always a big mystery with marble paper. Now I'm going to take something that is really thin. So it could be, you know, this is a skewer or you can use, this is a, a paintbrush, a small, thin, something that is thin. And I'm going to make my patterns. So I'm going to go around and swirl like this. And again, for marble paper, there's really no right or wrong. And that's why it's so much fun. And it's also so much fun because you have absolutely no idea what you're going to get. And it's, it's kind of a, it's an experiment. And for that reason, I found it magic. It's magic because it's kind of a surprise. So once I have my swirl patterns, I am going to get my paper. I'm going to put this aside. And my paper is right here. And I'm going to put it on top. So make sure that your paper is fits inside the pen. So you have to verify that before you start the project. And then you're going to push gently. So this is drawing paper, you know, like heavyweight drawing paper, which is thicker than like, let's say a, a copy paper, a little bit thicker. And I'm just going to push down evenly so that basically it's kind of like a print that it sticks to the paper. Make sure you get all the sides, sides. And in this, you know, for what you're doing right now, you don't have to hurry. You just go slow. Make sure it's all, and I can see it actually already picking through. Now I'm going to lift it up. And, and then I'm going to put this on the placemat right here. Okay, I'm going to move this so you can see a little bit better. The next step. Now I'm going to take my plastic card, which in my case was my any, so basically any plastic card. It could be you know, our Starbucks card. And I'm going to take away the shaving cream. So scrape it off, put it back into the tin. Just scrape it off. Put it back and so you're going to just make sure you're taking off all the shaving cream. You can see I have some a little bit more here. Make sure you're you're taking off every single piece of the shaving cream. There we go. And now we're gonna put this paper to dry. And I'm gonna show you what to do with what you have here if you want to make more. And I advise you to make more. So basically, I'm going to take my spatula and kind of smooth it out. You can even just mix it up. And we're going to get it ready for another paper. So I would use, I would make as many as you can because it's good to have on hand for different projects. And next week we will have three different projects where we could use um, a sheet of marble paper. 
and it's also good just to have on hand for you know like special this is a specialty project um, you could use this really cool paper to make cards so you know use up all the shaving cream so right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to make it as neutral as possible which means that I don't want to see all the colors because I will be adding more colors so this one had a base of blue and that's why my, my shaving cream is a little bit blue right now and which will affect the paper it will be a little bit of light blue and I don't mind actually I think it's gonna be super pretty so what I'm trying to do is just make it just that one blue color and you know kind of smooth it back at the bottom make one smooth layer at the bottom of your pan to get it ready for my next paper so I'm just going to turn it so it's easier you can also do this with of course a smaller pan and in that case your paper will be a little bit smaller so or use whatever you have at home any size pan it doesn't have to be this as long as the paper is just a little bit smaller all right i think i'm ready to continue for my second one and i'm going to show you how to do it i'm going to use different colors for the second uh, marble paper it will probably be um let me see a darker blue and a green and uh, maybe a yellow so I'll see you in just a little bit.